Hi, everybody. Well, I know there's nobody there right now because this is my first stream for Let's Play Stardew Valley for seniors. Yep, us. Not high school seniors, no. But, you know, we all like to have fun, right? So we are going to play Stardew Valley, starting off on a new playthrough. Here we are. I am going to, do, well, let me get out of bed for Pete's sake and light the fireplace before welcoming y'all anymore. I wanted to start at the beginning with the introduction where Grandpa leaves you the letter and tells you to open it when you're feeling really, really bad and really, really down and don't know where your life is going. And then it shows you working in a terrible cubby with good grief, a skeleton right down the way that they didn't even remove after the poor soul passed, I guess. And you get to feeling so bad working at Joja Mart where they just want you to work, 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 work. Nothing else. Work, 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 work. Yeah, they're paying you, but still, not a very good working environment. So you get so down, so depressed that you open your drawer and you see Grandpa's letter and in it he leaves you his farm. In this case, Sugar Snow Hill farm. <clears throat> see, it has to be said real fast like that because there wasn't room in the setup to put spaces. Excuse me. <coughs> September. Where I live, there's pollen all over the place. It just makes me cough. I'm sorry about that. So meanwhile, we got on the bus and we came to Sugar Snow Hill Farm and we are going to see what's happening. All we have right now is an axe, a hoe, a watering can, a pickaxe, and a scythe. That's the tools we have. We have met Robin and we have met Lewis. And look at all these other people in, that live in Stardew Valley that we have to meet. So let's get on with that. We've got 500 gold. Don't try to translate it to dollars because it's just crazy if you do. So here we are out of bed, Monday 1. Let's see, we've got a TV. Let's see what happens here. You want to watch TV with me? Oh, okay, weather report, fortune teller, living off the land. Weather report. Welcome to KOZU5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Look right there, a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. I wish that the TV actually made noise and he would tell me in, out loud. Ah, uh, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. We're at the fortune teller now, by the way. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Oh, my first day in Stardew Valley, and luck is not on my side. What else they got? Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forests. Forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Well, okay. Well, thank you very much. Hey, okay, let's go. At, oh, what are we here? We've got a, we've got a package. Parsnip seeds. And a new journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, well, thank you, Mayor Lewis. That was sweet. That was sweet. Okay. Also, let's see what's over here. It popped up journal. Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. And we've only met two of 28 people. Um, what else? Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. So we've got to cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay, let's hope we can do that. And one thing I forgot to mention is we there are seven farm layouts available and we are starting on the hilltop farm. Oh my goodness, there is no place right here. Where are we going to park, plant this parsnip seed? I don't know. 
I don't know where we're going to plant it. Let's look down here. Well, this is a mess. This is I, 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 I'm trying to find some water because I kind of like to start my uh, plant my seeds near the water if at all possible. But meanwhile, we will just use our hoe and our pickaxe to get rid of some of these things. And our I'm gonna. These are fiber. Cut them down because sometimes they'll give you some mixed seeds, and you can plant those and then get harvest from them. Sell it, and make some money. Pretty early on, you got to make money with just about every, anything you can. Let's see if we can get some mixed seeds. No. What's down here? Oh my goodness! Look at this hillside farm. We came out, I know I'm wasting the day away, we came out of our front porch of our little cottage, or farmhouse, which, wow, that needs repairing, got a hole over there. Down these steps, there's all kind of stuff over here. We come down some more steps, there's more stuff, which, I call it, calling it stuff, but it's debris, wood, stone, fiber, and I'm going to try to get as much of this wood as I can because those of you who know who know you know that we're gonna need it very shortly and to, to let you know I have played this before I have mm -mm -mm, I'm not even gonna say how many hours in another game but I know that you need this wood and I'm also gonna use anything I know I am I'm gonna tell you that right now anything I know that we need to know for this, I am going to use. Can't get through there. I'm going to have to get rid of that tree, I can tell. Okay, and then we got another. Oh, there's some water, finally. Finally some water. But this doesn't look like too good a place to plant, does it? Plant those parsnip seeds. So, what I am going to do, i got to plant them. Look how 15, oh, I need more wood than that. I need more wood than that. Okay, let's get these parsnip seeds planted. What was that? I don't know. Okay, I, I think I'm going to plant right here on this little thing, uh, this hilltop farm. I'm going to try not to plant, to overplant like I started out before because then I would spend all day watering and you couldn't get anything done. So let's see, we've got 15 seeds, so we need to hoe 15 spots. Let's see. One, two, oh, oh, you can't hold that piece of grass. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, look, I think this is going to work just fine. Now we're going to plant our seeds. Here we go. I'm just all over the place planting these seeds. Planted them all. Now we have to water them every single day, except when it rains. Thank you for the rainy days. If you don't water your seeds that you plant, they won't really die. Or once they start growing, they won't really die, but they won't grow anymore. So you do need to water them. Now let me see if I can how uh, far I am. Oh, I'm pretty close. Okay, I'm good with that. So well, here's some more wood over here. You're going to see why we need this wood, and we really really do. We really, really need this wood. But what I'm probably going to do is end up wearing myself out. Look at my energy, how low my energy level is. I'm going to probably wear myself out trying to get wood. And see, I get, I, I get distracted. I see something and I've got, to, I've got to do it right then. Oh, your pickaxe isn't strong enough to break this boulder. Well, okay, you can stay there for now. Let's see about finding more wood. There's some. Let's go get that wood. See, everything is in my way. This farm is very, it seems hard to get around. seems like there's stuff in your way. You're going to have to spend a lot of time clearing. I'm going to leave all this um, grass. See the difference between grass and fiber? I'm going to leave the grass as much as I can right now because I don't know how soon it will be before I need it. But... I'll try to save it a little bit. Meanwhile, let's find let's find some wood. That's that's our main our main goal right now. We'll have to go into town tomorrow on day two and meet some people. 
But today, let's just look around here and see what we've got. See, I just can't help but do it. Y'all, y'all help me. Wood, wood. Oh, here's some down here. Let's go get it. How many pieces? We have 25. That's only half. That's half of what we need. We need 25 more. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, what's up here? Oops. A dilapidated greenhouse. That could come in handy when we get it. So get that out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm one mixed seeds. There we go. We got some mixed seeds. Now I'm going to have to go plant them because you know, I just can't let them sit there doing nothing. I'm going to plant them and see what happens. But I want more wood. There's a wood right there. Is that wood? No, that's a. That was. I don't know what that was. But here's a piece of wood. Any up here? No. Oop, can't go there. Can't go that way. But. Another stone. What's in here? Just a little small, dark cave. What you think will happen there? Okay, wood. I need wood. Quit, quit getting distracted with all this other stuff. I need the wood. Just a piece of wood. But the reason I'm distracted is because it's in my way. Okay. Oh, look. I am, I am not going to get the wood I need today. I wonder if I could chop down a tree and get it. You know, I'm going to go down to that tree that I think is going to be in my, that I said that's going to be in the way. Let's see about chopping it down. Should we, this one? Because, see, I need to go down here to get to my farm, my planting, where I planted stuff. Let's see if we can do it. I've got 22 energy left, hmm. and I have nothing to eat. Here we go. That didn't help, did it? Oh, you're starting to feel exhausted. I am exhausted, I tell you. How many? Two. I'm not going to make it, am I? Zero. I'm not going to get it. Oh, I got it. I got 51. But if I fall asleep out here, they're going to take some of my money when they come to get me and wake me up. So let's just see if we can get home. If we can get to the house, if we can get to the house, I'll go to bed at 7.30. If I can just get there, I'll just get in the house. Oh, thank goodness, I'm in the house. Oh, now it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm even going to, can't do it. I'm going to have to do something. With, I'll plant the seeds in the morning, then I'll have room in the inventory. Okay, good night, day one. Sugar Snow Hill Farm in Stardew Valley for Seniors. This is Starry Eyed Granny, and stay with us. We're going to just start the new day right now, right in this episode. We're going to do another day. We're going to do day two, see what we can do. Okay, here we are, day two in Stardew Valley. Look, I only have 136 energy. What am I going to do? Well, I guess I'm going to... Look at the TV weather report. Okay, we've seen that, so we're just going to go get through that. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Okay. New, we could use some rain. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is run down there. I see a letter, but i got to do this. It's bothering me that my inventory is that full. We've got two of these seeds to plant. So let's just hoe a spot right here get those out of the inventory, water them, and the rest of the crops. Don't forget that. Look, they've already grown that much overnight. It's a parsnip. I don't know that I've ever actually eaten a parsnip. We, When I was growing up in real life, we had potatoes and rice, but I don't think we had really had parsnips. Now, I like to have my water can filled. 
and I'm going to go up here. You see those 52 pieces of wood? We are going to craft us. Look at all the things we can craft here. But what we need is this chest. Okay? I'm going to put it right here by the door. And I'll put everything in it except my tools and my watering can. I'm going to keep, I'll just hope, no, I'll put it up while I go to town. That's okay. Okay, now let's, now we will look at our mail. Oh, advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpacks. See you soon. Okay, Pierre, since I got to I got to I will check it out one of these days. I will. Oh, another letter. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I have something for you. Willie. Okay, Willie. That sounds nice. I will do that. Meanwhile, look, I have hardly any energy left. we got to find something to eat somewhere. I wonder if this could be something. See these little wiggly things? Um, oh, look, I passed some up. A rice shoot. We need, we need to go plant that. <gasps> More rice shoots. That's worth going back to plant, isn't it? Don't you think? Let's get our watering can. And it says, plant these in the spring. Takes eight days to mature. Grows faster if planted near a body of water. Harvest with the scythe. Okay, plant near a body of water. Does that mean, should we plant them up here? That's not near. This is near a body of water. Okay, here's, we can't get by this boulder, so we could actually, I think I'm going to just plant them right here by this water. How many? Six. Plant them. Water them. Okay, this, this is close enough to the water because you can see how the ground looks when you plant them. See how the color of that ground, that dirt under there, because they're near water versus fill up there okay you filled up now versus how dark the ground is there that's not by the water okay so let's try this again <clears throat> we're going to unload the clay and the watering can and head back to town we will take this path because I don't know what the rest of this farm is like and it looks very what's this a dandelion. Here's another one. And like I said, I'm going to show you all this place over here. Don't forget to look here. It's It, it gets kind of annoying because it's out of the way, but sometimes there will be forage over here. And you, you're going to need to know this place. You really are. So here we are back at the bus stop, which I don't understand. We came on the bus, but now the bus is broken down. How did that happen just overnight? Or in one day? Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I need to go down and see Willie. Do I have enough energy? I just used all of my energy to do that. To, and then I'm looking up here. I'll just come back and get that. Well, no, I'm going to do it. Because this tool right here, it's the only tool. It doesn't use up your energy. We got more mixed seeds. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. And here's a pretty flower over here. Ta-da! See, here's a path. Let's go down here. Oh, what do we got here? Pierre's? And that's the hospital. But let's look here. Spring, year one, day two. It has everybody's birthday. We've got to meet all of these people except the mayor. We met him in the startup. His birthday is Sunday. The very first birthday of the year. How did that happen, Mayor? Did you make this calendar? Oh, who's this? Ah, uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Well, hi, Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Well, I will. When I can afford some animal animals and animal care products, I will do that. Look in the trash cans, too. Try not to do it when anybody's standing there. Sometimes you can get some good stuff. Like right now, I could use. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Oh, it was fine, Mayor. It was just 
Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Well, I think he did too. I gotta go. Oh, see, hey, stop that. Yuck, see what he does? It's okay now because you don't have any hearts with him, but once you get hearts, I don't think you want to do that because somehow it interferes with that. Oh, here we are at the dock. It's Willie smoking his pipe. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Oh, well, thank you, Willie. Nice to meet you. And I got me a fishing rod. Oh, you received a bamboo pole. Well, a pole, a rod, I don't know. I'm not that much of a fisherman, a fisherwoman. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh, yeah, my shop's back open. Now, so come by if you need some supplies. I'll do that, Willie. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Hey, <laughs> that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Well, thank you, Willie. I will do that. And you know what? I'm standing right here at the dock. I got a new fishing pole. I'm going to see what's working for us right here. Let's try out this new fishing pole. Folks, if you have trouble fishing, if you want to start this game, don't worry about it. Just keep practicing. Hmm, I miss that. Just keep practicing, and you'll get the hang of it. But you do have to practice. And if you want to, there's a trainer training rod you can go buy from Willie. I think it's 25 gold. And you can start with it. It gives you a little bigger fishing bar, and it's easier to learn how to catch the fish. Okay, come on, fish. Nothing. Well, I'm going to move down here somewhere. Let's see. Do we see anything? Let's go over here. Let's try fishing right here. Let's see if we can catch anything. I want to catch a fish because I am out of energy. And if I catch a fish, I'm going to eat him. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, no, that's not right. I can't fish that direction. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, what do we have here? Can you eat these? No, you can't eat them. Okay, let's, um, can you eat any of these other things? But I don't have room, so let's see if I can, um, can I, let's see if I can throw that on the ground. No. Okay, let's get, how do you do that? How do you put something on the ground? I know that you can do it. We'll just put it in the trash. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> we have a mussel and we have a, whatever this is, an oyster. Watch this. You can't eat it? No. But you know what? Let's go sell it to Willie and see if we need something to eat or we are not going to make it through this day even. Hi, Willie. I got something for you. I got two clams and one oyster. You have trout soup. That sounds good, but man, it's expensive. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, you know what? I think you can eat these. Uh, not that. It has zero. But these have 25 energy. So I'm going to eat one of those and get me enough energy to at least get near the house, plant my little mixed seeds I've got here, or go pick up this cockle and go back and sell it to Willie because it's money. We've already got 640. dollars We need to go to Pierre's, buy some more seed. Here you go, Pierre. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Okay. Let's get on. Oops. I almost started walking there instead of running. Thing is, in this town, you got to run everywhere. There's a... Uh, Hey, who is this? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting. 
and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. This is Elliot. Doesn't he look nice? I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I can almost feel him just wanting to take my hand in that little way they do, just holding your fingers and kissing the top of your hand because look at him. Look how he is dressed up to live at the beach. Tails and everything. Okay, forget. I'm, I'm not going to make it to Pierre's. What time does Pierre's close? Nope, I'm not going to make it to Pierre's. I've fiddled around too much talking to Elliot, I guess. Oh, he's still open. Oh, okay, he's still open. He's still open. Here we go. I am going to buy two bean starters. Oh, I don't have any room. I'm going to sell him this. I'm going to sell him this. I'm going to buy two cauliflower seeds, and I'm going to buy eight potato seeds. That's it. That's all I'm going to buy today. Who's this? Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Look here. Look here. This is Emily. Why, thank you, Emily. I think I will. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Alrighty then. Look at all these people over here. Let's go meet them since they're all gathered up there. This is Tuesday. And, okay, they've been exercising. Hello, you must be Noel, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Nice to meet you, Caroline. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Well, Robin, I think it's going to be, but I've already met you. I'm going to sleep well tonight, and I've already met Marnie. So, hey, let's get to the house and plant those seeds before dark, okay? And while we have a little bit of energy. What's this? Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, Abigail, you can come by any time and explore. I don't mind. Just, um, yeah, just come by and explore. And y'all... I used to get so lost. I'd get up here in the, I'd get down at the beach or I'd get up in the mountains and I couldn't even find my way home. I was that pitiful. But here is a map. It puts your head, my red head there where I am and shows you where your house is and where these other things. One Willow Lane, two Willow Lane, Mayor's Manor, Saloon, Blacksmith, 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 Stardy Valley Museum and Library, and the Joja Mart, One River Road, he, okay, that's enough, Community Center, that's enough, you, you can figure out the map, I know you can, it's always there, always handy, always ready, okay, we're going to have to put some of these things away, get our watering can, and go down here and plant how many things do we have to plant? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have four. Oh, my. You know what we're going to have to do? We need more land. I'm just going to do it over here right now because I don't want to waste. I want to get planted and not waste all that time chopping. Three, four. Is that six? Well, I'm just hoeing. My hoeing skills aren't very good today, are they? Okay, I'm going to plant these two over here out of the way. Then I'm going to plant two cauliflower and plant eight. Oh, we need two more for the potatoes. We can plant those potatoes. I'm going to come over here and plant those other seeds over here with the other ones. we got to remember to water. Don't forget to water. And I'm, you're starting to feel exhausted. I tell you, I am. Look, all my energy is just going. But you know what? It's been a good day. I met some people. I got some seeds. I got a fishing pole. I'm just worn out. Farming is hard work. But I don't want to plant so many things that I have to spend all day watering them. You watch. Remember I said that? I want you to remember, okay? And how many? Oh, I better just leave my watering can at that and get on up to the house. 
Well, it's been a day, folks. Hopefully I can get there without passing out because if I, well, if I do, they would only take a tiny bit of my money to save me. But, folks, it's been fun. You know what? I don't like that there. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, and here we go. Day two in Stardew Valley. Day two of spring. We planted some things. We got a fishing pole. We bought some seeds. And tomorrow is another day, folks. So I hope you come back. Stardew Valley. I'm playing on PC. Stream from Stream on PC. Whatever you play on. A mobile device. A switch. A phone. Just enjoy it. Take it easy. Stardew Valley for seniors. Here we're playing with no mods. No chasing uh, challenges, speed runs. We're just playing. We are going to have a good time. We are going to get stuff, and we're going to have to fight monsters. But, hey, it's all in fun. So, good night, y'all. Stardew Valley for seniors.